Hey boys and girls, welcome to another super exciting outrageous tour. Today, we're taking a look at some Micro Machines, Mighty Morph, and Power Rangers. Hey boys and girls, welcome to another super exciting outrageous tour. I'm Kevin, I'm here to talk about Power Rangers Micro Machines. Just kidding, I'm not gonna do the Micro Machine Man voice the whole time. Today, we're taking a look at the Power Rangers number one Red Ranger set. This was released uh, in 1994, it looks like, by Galoob, the people that made Micro Machines. Um, my friend Ryan picked these up for me at a convention one time. I actually have all five of the main Ranger sets. I'm going to take a look at them. I've actually reviewed some of the loose Micro Machine pieces in the past. Um, I think I did like the Megazord and Goldar and Dragonzord and a few of those other ones. But they were like a loose collection I got at a toy show. This is going to be... Uh, for the next few weeks, or, or they might be sporadic. I'm not sure if I'm going to do them all in a row, but I'm going to review all five of these sets. And so here is the phrasing on the back of the Red Ranger's package. Jason is a serious martial artist, and as the Red Ranger serves as the mighty leader of the Power Rangers, the Red Ranger draws his power from the legendary Tyrannosaurus, charging into battle in command of the Tyrannosaurus Dinozord, or wielding his power sword. Red Ranger is the commander of Megazord, when all the Zords combine for Mega Power. All right, let's get this out of the package. The back of the package shows off set one, two, three, four, and five, which are the basic Rangers, as well as three versus packs that include Zords and monsters. Too bad there isn't a Green Ranger set. The background of the package has some nice art of the Dino Zords. Here's the Red Ranger set out of the package. We've got the Red Ranger on his motorcycle. We've got the Red Ranger. We've got Jason before he morphs. And we've got the T-Rex sword. We're going to take a look at each one of these one at a time. We're going to start by taking a look at Jason. It's interesting that he wears a white shirt with just some red details on it, which is pretty poorly painted, I might mention. He probably wore this outfit in the show, but I don't specifically remember a white shirt with just a little bit of red on it. It seems funny that he's not wearing a re all red shirt. Very minimal paint detailing. You can see there's a lot of sculpted detail on his face, but no paint there. That was typical of Micro Machines of the area. And he's got a little tiny stand to help him stand up. Not very action-packed for the civilian figure. Tyrannosaurus! <laughs> Here he is, all morphed up. And now he gets to be in an action stance. He's definitely more muscular. He's bigger because he's the same height but he's got bent knees now and his arms are bulging i love how he has the power coin on his chest which was like a thing that saban insisted on in the 90s that i never understood he's got his little holster there for the blade blaster you can see there's a little paint detail for his morpher it's really pretty decent you know he doesn't have the diamonds on his boots or his gloves or anything like that but the paint app work on the ranger is so much better than the paint app work on jason i mean even the visor has black and silver on it Tyrannosaurus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. here we have the red ranger's motorcycle and you can see there's a little figurine of the red ranger riding it has pretty good paint work that matches up with the loose figure pretty well they made such a big deal about these bikes in the 90s but they really didn't use them in the show they were a huge part of Zoo Ranger, the Japanese counterpart. The characters rode them in almost every episode and, and in the closing segment. But they just kind of brought the toys over here to the American version, and that was about it. They're, they're sort of seen in the background of one episode. But they just had the Rangers teleport in the American show. and uh, But they sold these toys. <laughs> Lots of motorcycles. And uh, it's got a sidecar gun piece here, which is kind of cool. It's got a big Gatling gun laser type thing on the front. And he, I'm actually pretty amazed that he's ducking down behind the windshield on this because in the show, I think he kind of just sat up to ride it. But they, they never all rode them in battle really either. So this is maybe more hunkered down for you to simulate action sequences. It does have three rolling wheels. Sorry, I dropped it and it's pretty nicely detailed. Last up, we've got the T-Rex Zord. This is a little bit goofy proportioned. The, the legs are at a really odd angle, so it sort of leans forward pretty far. There's no posability. The tail, the legs, the arms, nothing moves. It does have an action feature if you press down on the head. The 
mouth open so it can roar. <laughs> it's got okay paint apps again, you know. Um, this is a little bit bigger, so a little bit more paint apps might have been nicer compared to the miniature Red Ranger. But it doesn't look too bad at all, I guess. What can I say? <laughs> so that's a look at the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Micro Machine set based on the Red Ranger, containing Jason, the Red Ranger, the Red Ranger's motorcycle, and the Tyrannosaurus Zord. Pretty fun. I remember seeing these in the stores in the 90s and kind of being interested in getting them, but also knowing that they weren't really in scale with other Micro Machines. The, the Ranger and the Civilian are actually bigger than the little army guys that I had that came with some army Micro Machines. And the motorcycle is bigger than a normal Micro Machine motorcycle. So these guys are kind of in their own scale. And I think that was one of the things that held me back from getting them as a kid. Also, I just didn't buy a lot of Power Ranger toys. Because I was just on that cusp of, like, kind of too old. I loved the show. But it wasn't really cool to have Power Ranger toys. So, if you're at that age, if you're getting close to, to the end of elementary school, or you're in middle school, and somebody tells you toys aren't cool... Don't listen to them. Have fun with your toys. Thanks for watching this super exciting, outrageous toy review. Make sure to like, subscribe, and check out our other videos.